welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Victoria and today we're going to be starting a vlog so in this one we are going to be reading one of the books that is from my physical TBR I am going to go through all of the books that are on my physical TBR and I'm going to put them into a spinner wheel I think that's the way I'm gonna do it I'm either gonna put them into a spinner wheel or I'm gonna like pick up pick them out of like a, a jar or like a thing like that um I haven't decided yet but anyway I'm going to put all of them in to a something and pick one out at random and I am going to read that book in this vlog and that's the way we're going to do it so I am going to take you off my tripod and we're going to go over to my physical TBR shelf because I actually only have one shelf on my entire library of books that I haven't read yet so I'm going to take it over to you and show you and I'm going to be uh, using this shelf a little more often in this coming year and we're going to be doing some more vlogs and some more vlogs where I like only read one book I have some really exciting ideas coming so if you have one that you want to see any sort of vlog that you want to see let me know down in the comments but I am going to go and show you my TBR shelf and we are going to uh, start this vlog okay so these are my shelves here and if we come over here to this shelf we have Sarah J Mass, we have Pride and Prejudice we have books that I love we have more books that I love and then down here this ooh, let me sit on the floor so this shelf right here is all of the books that I have not read that I physically own. This right here is a journal thing that I just stuck there because I have nowhere else to put it so that is not a book that I have to read but all of these on this shelf I have some behind there also are ones that I haven't read yet and then I have a couple of overflow ones up here just from Lauren Lust to Still Beating so okay I'll scrunch down um so that is what we're gonna do I'm sorry the lighting is really bad over here but that's what we're gonna do I'm going to write down all of them um into a spinner wheel or something like that and I'm gonna pick one so Give me a minute. So this angle definitely leaves something to be desired, but you're propped up on my blankets in my bed. So if the sound is muffled, that's why, and I'm so sorry, but this is the best I got. Um, but I'm over in my bed. I showed you, I think, that I decided to write all of the books on my physical TBR on little post-its instead of doing a spinner wheel. And then I put them in this mug that I have from Hello Lovely. It says alien dick on it. They don't make them like this on earth. 
um, and it's one of my favorite mugs. And I decided to put them in the mug and to write them all down because I figured that way I could then use them again and use the ones that I haven't read again yet again and maybe I can do a couple more vlogs like this of like trying to tackle my physical TBR so that's what my plan is and for this vlog I'm just gonna pull one out and we're gonna read that book and that's how it's gonna go um I've just been chilling and I'm watching Raven Haired Readers vlogs and a couple of other YouTube vlogs that people posted today um but yeah we're gonna pull one out of the mug and Let's see how it goes. Let's go with that one. <laughs> All right, we got, ooh, can you see that? What was meant to be by QB Tyler. All right, let me go grab the book. All right, here's the book. This is what we'll be reading, What Was Meant to Be by QB Tyler. I don't know. A ton about what this book is about. I don't remember. I own a ton of QB Tyler books physically that I haven't read. I am a big fan of her spice. I like the way that she writes her spice. I think this cover is stunning. Um, I think that this is the one where it's a best, it's a father's best friend romance and it's also second chance. I think that's what this one is. Uh, it says, three years ago, Jacob Price walked away. After a whirlwind, steamy affair, my father's best friend broke my heart. He told me things were too complicated, messy, and wrong, that we could never be together. I knew he loved me, but the fear of ruining our family was too great. With too much at stake, he sacrificed our hearts and ended it. Now he's back, and he still wants me. He still loves me, but now I'm engaged to another man. That sounds so good, so spicy. I just know that QB Tyler is just going to bring the angst and the spice and the fun. So I'm super, super excited to be reading this book for this vlog so hope that you like it and journey along with me as I delve into this book so I will probably pick up the either the kindle or the audiobook you guys know that I don't read actual physical paperbacks but I since I have the paperback I might get the audiobook and then read along with the paperback I think that's probably what I'll do um but I'm super excited and I will let you know what I decide and when I pick it up all right the lighting over here is pretty horrible and I have you propped up on a fan so <laughs> hopefully it's okay but I am just under halfway through you can see like my little cat ears bookmark there I am just under halfway through what was meant to be and I ended up getting the audiobook uh, and the audiobook is good. This romance is super freaking messy. Super fucking messy. So I think I said what I knew about this book before. I don't remember, but I think I said it's a dad's best friend romance and they were together, but it's also second chance. So they were together three years ago um, and they had started this dad's best friend romance age gap. Um, and they were together for like a year or two and then they, he broke up with her um, and now it's three years later and she's engaged and he comes back and is like, you're not marrying him. So I, going into this, thought that because they were in that romance before, in that relationship before, I thought that she would have, they would have told their parents, like her parents and his best friend about it. I thought going into this book that her parents were aware of their relationship. That is not the case. Her parents are not aware of their relationship. They were together for two years in secret and his best friend and who is her parents do not know. Um, and so they were together and then he basically, he broke up with her. He was her first uh, boyfriend, her first time. I think she was only 19 when they broke up and they st started dating when she was 18. So I think they were together for like a year and a half. And so she's only 19 when they break up. And he is basically like, you have your whole life ahead of you. I don't know if this is what you're going to want in the future. I think that basically he breaks up with her. Um, and he has his reasons and I kind of understand his reasons but I also understand her devastation about it because she is broken when he breaks up with her. She is 
awfully, horribly on the ground broken when he breaks up with her. And he leaves and he goes to work for Doctors Without Borders in Mexico and for three years he doesn't come back until he gets a letter in the mail which is her engagement announcement. And then he comes back and sh he is basically like, it's been three years, I've been with nobody, you're older now. Even though it's only three years, there's a big difference. I understand where he's coming from. There is a big difference between 19 and 23, uh, 22, almost 23, and at being out of college, there's a big difference. The life changes. I understand where he's coming from. Even though it doesn't seem like that many years, there's a big life difference between being beginning of undergrad and being out of college in real life. And so he comes back and he shows up and he's like, we need to talk because I still love you and you're not marrying him. And that's kind of where I am right now. She is trying to hold out, uh, but obviously she's going to break up with her boy, with her fiance. I don't know if we're going to get into like actual cheating in this. So if she's going to like have sex with him or be with him before she breaks up with her fiance, but her fiance seems like an absolute dick. So I'm kind of rooting for it. <laughs> I do not give a flying fuck about her her fiance. He seems like such an asshole. So that's where we're at right now. Her fiance is actually on like a business trip right now. So we actually haven't like met him in person yet. So even though I'm like, I don't even know how far I am. I am on chapter 13. I just finished chapter 12. So I'm on page 135. Um, and 135 pages into this book and her boy her, uh, fiance has not been introduced like on page she's talked to him on the phone but he hasn't actually been there this matches my outfit that's cute um <laughs> but I'm enjoying it uh I am excited to get like into the actual spice because I always really love QB's spice she writes spice so so well it's always so good um and I am probably going to finish this maybe tomorrow um I still have time to read right now I have a live show tonight for Crescent City 2. Here's House of Sky and Breath. Look at the difference in page count between those books. <laughs> so I have my Crescent City 2 a live show tonight. I'll link that live show down below if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but I have that tonight and that is at 8 o'clock and it is currently 6 o'clock so I have a little bit more time. I'll probably read this for like another hour and then um, after I have dinner but I'm really enjoying it and it's going really well. I didn't love the last QB Tyler book I read, which was the Bodyguard one. I think it's called Keep Her Safe. I gave that one three stars and I wasn't vibing with that one, but I really, really like her novella series, like first semester and second semester. I really love those. And I actually don't mind the stepbrother one, um, which I can't remember what it's called. Always Been You, I think. The Spice in that one, oh, so good. But this hero, his name is JP or Jacob, and he is so hot. Like he, the energy that he's giving me, I'm loving it, loving it. So I'm really hyped to get into the Spice also. Uh, the formatting for this book is so pretty. So let me show you a little bit. So it's actually, I have a signed copy. I got it at a book signing. I've met QB Tyler like four or five or six times. I don't even know. It's been a lot. I've met her a lot of times. So I have a signed copy and it says all's fair in love and war. But the chapter like formatting are so pretty. So each of the chapter t covers have this like engagement ring box and I think it's so pretty. Um, and I just really love the formatting and I like the like way the font is. I don't even know if you can see it with the bad lighting, but I really like the way the like font is with her name and everything. And there's like a dark like haze over it. And I think it's just really, really pretty. But either way, I just think it's done a really, really good job. So, very pretty, really enjoying it, about almost halfway through, I'm like 40% of the way through. So, I will give you another update, this was a long update, but I'll give you another update when I get a little farther. Hi guys, so I have my tripod set up over here and everything because I was taking some pictures, so I figured I would give you a little update. Um, let me grab the book real quick, one sec. 
Okay, so this update is not super exciting because I've literally read like 40 pages since I last talked to you, but it is Tuesday now. It is Tuesday now, um, and I am on page 161 um, on chat right there. So just like a little tiny bit farther than the last time I talked to you. But in those like 40 pages, a ton has happened. So the heroine, whose name is Whitney, uh, she and the hero Jacob, some shit happened. So remember the last time I talked to you, I said that I wasn't sure if there was going to be cheating in this book. Well, there is. So that's an update I can give you. There is cheating in this book. So I have a very specific feelings on cheating when it comes to cheating in books. Uh, and that is if the cheating is harmful, in my opinion, then I don't like it. So what I mean by that, obviously all cheating is harmful. Somebody gets hurt. But I find myself being okay with cheating in books if the person that they're cheating on is a jackass. <laughs> so a good example of that is in the Candy Steiner book. Um, what is that Candy Steiner book called? I think it's called like Close Quarters. They're on a boat. I'll put the picture over here. Um, in that book, there is cheating. But the heroine's boyfriend who they cheat on is an absolute dickwad. He's so awful. And so I am okay with the cheating. Does that make sense? So I think there are a couple of books that are also like that. Honestly, in Close Quarters by Candy Steiner, I was like cheering them on. I was like, cheat on him. He sucks. You deserve better. So the opposite of that is in like, what is that Lucia Franco book called? I can't remember what the Lucia Franco book is called, but I'll put the picture up here. But in this book, the heroine cheats on her boyfriend, but the guy who she cheats on is like a nice guy and she's with him for literally no reason. She doesn't actually really like him. She like starts dating him after she already like met the hero and I'm like that's stupid. Um, and so I didn't like the cheating in that book because I felt really bad for the person that gets cheated on. So if I feel bad for the person that gets cheating on, cheated on, then I don't like the cheating. Another one that was the same thing with that one is A Block Shot by Kennedy Ryan. There's cheating in that book and the person that they cheat on, I felt bad for. I felt bad for the person that they cheated on. Uh, they were just like with them to be with them and I didn't love that. So in this book, I'm okay with the cheating because her fiance is awful. I don't like him at all. He sucks and I, I don't think he's right for her and I don't like him at all. He's kind of an ass. He's overly suspicious of her. He's judgmental. Oh, he's just awful. I don't like him at all. And so because of that, I'm on board with the cheating in this book. I get the heroine is feeling very bad about it. So it's adding like a little bit of like extra angst slash drama, but there is cheating in this book. So if that's not your thing, might need to skip this one. Um, but I am getting a little anxious while reading this book because they still haven't told her parents, um, the hero's best friends, about them being together. And I think that the parents, I feel so bad for the parents because the parents are just going to get like blindsided and the parents have like absolutely no idea. And they're trying to set him up, like the friend up with another one of their friends. And I just like feel so bad. And I'm like getting super anxious about like what's going to happen when her parents do find out. And like, I don't want them to ruin the friendship with the hero, but also like you're that your best friend's fucking your daughter like obviously like it's gonna put a damper on your friendship there's gonna be some issues but it's making me so nervous and anxious so I'm really worried about the way that it's gonna turn out but obviously it ends on a happily ever after my friends would not recommend this book to me if it didn't end on a happily ever after it's QB Tyler so I know it ends on a happily ever after um so everything will work out but I'm a little getting a little anxious about it about it. But I will be trying to finish this today. Uh, this book is not overly long. It's only um, 280 pages. So I have like 120 pages left. Um, and the audiobook, I think I have under two hours left of the audiobook. I can't say no pettiness no more. Have you heard the song Not My Fault by Renee Rapp? Because it's stuck in my head. 
Um, I love Renee Rapp. I'm wearing a Renee Rapp t-shirt right now. <laughs> there she is right there, Renee Rapp. <laughs> but I am obsessed with that song. It's stuck in my head. Um, I was right. I have one hour and 38 minutes left in the audiobook. So I will hopefully be able to finish this book today, get this video up for you on time. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And I will update you again when I have gotten closer. <laughs> I finished. I finished what was meant to be by QB Tyler. I think my final rating is going to be four stars. I did really enjoy this book. Uh, the it stressed me out like crazy. I think I said that in the last in the last clip when I was talking, but it stressed me out like absolute crazy. Um, the lead up to like the reveal for her parents finding out, I got so anxious, so stressed. I was making dinner and listened to the audiobook while I was making dinner, and I was like literally like sweating I was like panicking I, I don't know why I got so emotionally invested in this but I was just like so involved that I was like oh my god I feel like the stress of her I feel the stress of Jacob of like wanting to tell his best friends I feel so bad for the parents for like being blindsided they had no idea it was coming but I think that the father did kind of suspect towards the end but like totally put it out of his mind he's like that could never be true and I was like oh my god uh but I ended up really enjoying it the ending like after they like the reconciliation of the parents and Whitney and JP was a little like short at the end it was a little quick but after like everything leading up to it I was like totally fine <laughs> with the fact that it like went a little quicker at the end but I ended up really enjoying it um the spice was great as I knew it was going to be I think this might be my second favorite QB Tyler at this point I think that's probably what it is um second semester is still my favorite um which is funny because that one is also a dad's best friend romance um this one is a lot more best friend like like dad's best friend like in that one they're co-workers and friends in this one they are true best friends he is best friends with her parents both of her parents um and the relationship that he had with her parents was so strong and i totally got like where the dad was coming from where he was like he was hurt. He was sad that their relationship's never going to be the same. As much as like they they can ha still have a good relationship, their relationship's never going to be the same ever. And to have a best friend that has been with you for so many years that you sh they are your true family at this point to then have that relationship be different, that's rough. That is seriously difficult and I felt for uh, the dad of the heroine for that and it's they, that's a serious thing to deal with but his best friend's happiness his daughter's happiness was bigger than that and I liked the way that the reconciliation went um but yeah I ended up really enjoying this I will probably do another one of these videos so let me know if you end up liking them um I did it, uh, put all of my physical TBR in the mug so I will do another one soon where I pull another one or maybe two out of the mug and uh, we can read my physical TBR but yeah that's gonna be it for this video so would recommend what was meant to be thank you so much for watching uh, like this video if you liked it subscribe stick around see more content from me and leave me a what's a good emoji for what was meant to be leave me a like chili spicy emoji like the spicy the emoji that people use for like spicy scenes you know like the chili emoji leave me that one um but that's gonna be it for this video so i hope that you have the absolute best day bye